ipmnation.com. Live from the Outpost Studios in Columbus, Ohio, you're listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody. Brought to you by ipmnation.com. Get ready for the gong heard round the world. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is not a drill. Warning, All Natural Being with Brian Brody is designed to shake your sense of self to the core. It's full contact psychology with an empowering twist, a philosophical loofah for your soul. For those of you not ready or comfortable releasing your inner superhuman, listener discretion is advised. Here's your host, Brian Brody. Once again, let me do a little bit of this right here. Welcome and thank you for stopping by and hanging out. You ready for this? 383rd episode of the number one rated show here on IPMNation.com. You're in, heaven help you, right? You're in to All Natural Being and the aforementioned gong just heard around the world broadcast as it happens thanks to our dear good friends, a Telestream's Wirecast live every time from the transitional radio uplink here in a suburb of beautiful Columbus, Ohio, beamed out directly to IPMNation.com and multicast live over here on Facebook, if you will, and AllNaturalBeing.com itself. Also, our Brian Brody app, we've got it going on over there. But please remember, we broadcast our little soiree each night on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, YouTube, you know, all the usual suspects. I guess by the time, yes, even Twitter, I guess by the time it gets there, you could call it a podcast. But however it plays out, greetings wherever you are here in the garden of the mortals, the labyrinth of life itself, the ups and downs, the lefts and rights, the pivots, the swerves, the blind alleys and cul-de-sacs, never a dead end, right? Unless we decide it's a dead end. Life constantly comes at you. That's true. Fate is relentless, but so is divine intervention. So I guess you could say that life's labyrinth is divine intervention stacked on top of divine intervention, ready to foil the chop block that fate deals us. It's like a Rubik's cube of counter punches, a chess match between your dynamic and the dark that pursues each and every one of us every single day. Either way, life is your shot at running the table, at leveling out, only as you see fit. You don't need permission from anyone else. Only the vapid long for the committee vote, and that's not you or you wouldn't be here. Your ferociousness, it's in your blood. You can feel it. Now you just have to get your mind to remember and embrace it. Like, remember what that feeling is and how do I apply it in my everyday? That's why we're here, to be your amnesia buster, to be your friendly blue force, always putting your heart's highest priority top of the list where it belongs, reinstalling and reinstating the true wit, wisdom, and dare I say, wallop of your inner whisper. What's the saying? What's the saying? Big things come in little packages. That most certainly talks about your whisper, which is why we need to reboot your robust, commencing your counterpunch all in time to outbrutal the brutal that is the cut and shuffle that fate can deal you on a daily basis and to bring your own bold once and for all. Because there's a storm coming. You can be jacked up by it or buttoned up and waiting for it. You make the call. That's what's so cool about this gig. But before we hit it this evening, hello to my friends here in the United States and Canada, Mexico, the UK, my family in UK as well, my dear friends in Ecuador, China, the Philippines, Brazil, India, Australia, Germany, Italy, and France, Nigeria, Turkey, Japan, Singapore, Thailand, Belgium, Sweden, Israel, South Africa, Egypt, Puerto Rico, Kenya, the Netherlands, 
Iran, Colombia, Greece, Ireland, Argentina, Peru, Austria, Poland, to those joining us from all over the globe. It's great to have you with us, however you come to be with us. And I truly am fired up to be driving your bandwagon, to be your virtual hitchhiker, especially if you're out and about on the go. And you know what I love about riding shotgun? It's getting to hang with you as we do each and every evening. So what, 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 what are we waiting for? Here's your opportunity to mortal up. It's time to love the way you think. It's time to love the way you look at yourself. It's time to be your all natural being. So what do you say? Let's go kick in some doors. And you know, I want to thank uh, right off the top, my good friend, Lee Rowley from Sales Copy Academy for coming by last night, helping us work out a little bit of what we'll be doing. You know, Friday's the big day. I go into, uh, you know, the Columbus Cranium Shack. Uh, I go there tomorrow morning for uh, some of the preliminary tests and then turn around and we'll be back in there on Friday morning. So it was a big day yesterday in terms of planning what we were going to what we were going to do, what we were going to talk about. Oh, I do have a phone. What we were going to talk about, how we were going to what some of the verbiage we were going to use. And I really want to thank Lee for coming by last night, hanging out and I go, oh, zip it, would you? <sighs> thank him for coming by yesterday and hanging out and helping me kind of wrap my head around that. We've got such a big show tonight. I don't want to belabor this point for very long because I've got some really cool news, uh, news that you can use, I guess you could say, uh, that I'm pretty fired up about. But ultimately, when we talked last night, Lee came up with a line, when life no longer makes sense, it's the perfect time to mortal up. And then we kind of, you know, we arm wrestled a little bit about the end. And then it, it just, one of the things that I've come up with today, and we'll be working on it, is this concept of let's go finish, not find, not get, not track down, not hunt, not manifest, for God's sakes. Let's go finish your miracle. Because you know my belief that if you're here, it's a miracle that you're here against all odds that you're here. So you can either go, hey, I think I will channel my dynamic. I think I will put my heart's highest priority top of the list or I'll let the dark overtake me. I'll just have a dull, I'll just have an apathetic, I'll just have a life that I'll never really be thrilled about. So let's go finish your miracle. Half of it is done. You're here to run the table. So let's now, let's just do that. And that's why I say all the time, I still believe that rock bottom is the perfect platform to launch and rebound to the tallest heights you could possibly have in your life. And I believe that miracles come when you mortal up. So that, 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 at least I can get that out of the way. So thank you so much for listening. John, thank you very much. Henry, good evening to you as well. It's nice to have you back. I'm glad all the technology. And you know, most times when you're listening to me and you say, or and I'll say to you, oh, we had some technical issues. Just me being a dope, not knowing how to work everything. But Henry's uh, last night were some technical issues, and he and the, the crack staff there in Cuenca, Ecuador, along with Wayne, they were able to iron it all out. So we're glad to have you back. John, hello to you as well. Thank you so very much for joining us. Oh, please tell your mom I said hello. Wayne, thank you, everybody. And I'm eyeing you. Yes, I know, Wayne, right? You and me, we're on it. Jamie, hello to you as well. Lee, had a blast, my friend, as did I. I was, I was very excited, Lee, to see the, what you had said about your, uh, your assistant going, wow, you guys really pulled something off in terms of doing all that. Henry says, Lee, thank you for stepping up last night. Yeah, stepping up, kicking back here in the chair, fixing the broken banana that you tore up the last time you were here. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So this evening, before we get to our caller, before we get to our guest, I wanted to take an opportunity to really just kind of go down memory lane. And I don't know how many years ago it was, 30 some odd years ago. I was, as many of you probably know, I was a police officer in New York. Hi, Christian. Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. At least we think it worked out. I know, drum roll, right, Wayne? We'll know at the bottom of the hour because Henry will hopefully be with us for thinking re-envisioned at the bottom of the hour. We'll know then. But as I started to say uh, many years ago, three decades ago plus, I was a police officer in New York. I had gone through a bunch of different military academies, a bunch of different weapons academies in the military and the like. And then I came out and decided that I would uh, spend my time uh, going through civilian law enforcement. So I went to a couple of their academies. And so I, I say quite often that what I've learned always is the ability for me to 
just just track things down, right? I have my little notepads. I always take very copious notes, and I'm always trying to learn. I remember one time, uh, Perk, sergeant of mine, taught me from very early on that whenever there's an interaction between two things, one thing is left behind and one thing is taken away. So the bad guys or the bad girls, right, will always leave clues. Always leave clues. You just have to be smart enough to figure out what those clues are, right? You just have to be smart enough to figure out where the evidence is going to lead you. And that's a pretty indelible memory that I have in my mind from law enforcement is always trying to figure out because you're not necessarily going to be smarter than the bad guy or the bad girl. You're not going to have that. But what you will have is the ability to be more stubborn, to be more persistent, to figure out, okay, whatever I've got to do to crack this case, I'm going to figure out what I've got to do to figure this whole thing out, right? Because you've got to get ready to make an arrest, put it in front of a grand jury, you know, how all that works. Marcia, thank you so very much. Greetings to you as well. Thank you for joining us here at All Natural Being. Oh, you know, these things drive me crazy. You have one of these things where they want to do a backup. So let's just do this. Let's just skip this backup. Right? I don't want to hear that thing rattle all night long. So one of the memories, as I say, from law enforcement is of, is of just that. You know what I mean? It, it, what it takes to be a detective, what it takes to figure out, get to the scene of a crime, you know, who, what, where, when, why, how, that kind of thing. John says, what do you think about the First Amendment auditors? They go around to government buildings and film government agencies, mostly police. Well, I'm, you know what? Let me say this, John. I never had a problem being filmed. Maria, thank you so very much for joining us. An all natural being. I never had a problem being filmed, uh, John, and I think it's a great idea because uh, technically I think is by the time you get – at least the, the law enforcement that I was in, uh, we always loved the fact that we were doing a buttoned-up job. So I don't know if that answers your question, but for me, I'm, I'm like, oh, wow. You know, I think every time I see these body cams, I go, man, I would have loved to have footage of when I did this or when I did that. <laughs> Or a couple of times I would like to have had a video document of some of the stuff that I pulled. I really would. But the second and quite possibly the most – the second most indelible memory I have in my mind, believe it or not, was coming to the scene of a burglary. And what had happened in this burglary, I'll never forget it. It was a, it was a house a, 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 just a set back from the road a little bit. Marcellus, good evening, brother. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you so very much. We were talking about one of these burglaries that's indelibly etched in my mind. And the house was set back from the road a little bit. And what sticks out in my mind, I know you're going to find this weird, but they had kicked open the front door, right? I guess maybe still in this day and age, there's some doors that, uh, you know, have a little wimpy deadbolt or a lock. And everyone thinks, oh, I got the doors locked. Bad guys don't care about locks. And I learned very early on in this particular case that bad guys don't care about alarms either because what happened was they had kicked in the front door. I was able to get a boot print, right? So I knew the size at least and the make of the boot. They were able to kick in the front door. And when they did so, there was a little alarm right on the inside of the door. And, you know, that alarm broke contact. And when it did, it went off. So what did the bad guys do? Believe it or not, when I got to the scene and the owners had called and said, oh, this happened and that happened. Good evening, David. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us here at All Natural Being. The owner said, oh, this was taken, that was taken. And as I'm walking around the house with my notepad and the patrolmen are there and, right, I just show up and I'm taking notes to try to see what I could add to their report. I could hear like this high-pitched whistle, but it was kind of like a muted whistle. But I, it still was kind of like bugging me. I could hear it. So as I'm walking around, I go, oh, you're getting, you know, like that old uh, kid's game. Oh, you're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. You're getting colder. Whatever it is, right? Like Marco Polo in the pool. Well, I could hear this noise. And when I walked into the living room, I started to lose the noise. When I walked down the different hallways, then when I got in the kitchen, I could ju- it just, I, I could tell the noise was coming from somewhere in the kitchen. So I'm like bent over and I'm trying to listen. I tell everyone, knock it off. Be quiet. Let me hear what's going on here. Turn off your radios. You think we're at a, like a disco? Turn off your radios. I remember saying to the patrolman. And I'm listening and I go over and I open the refrigerator and the little alarm that was on the door to trigger to let everyone know, oh, you know, that's an alarm going off. They put it in the freezer. They took the, <laughs> the little alarm, popped right off when they forced the lock of the door, when they, they booted in the door. 
forced the lock right off, forced the alarm right off, and they put the alarm in the fridge. They weren't even worried about the alarm triggering anything. They put it in the freezer. So they go, well, one thing, so much for those alarms that aren't tied in, that don't call the police and this and that. And I've spent years, I mean, literally years, hundreds and hundreds of hours reviewing videotapes of, 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 of bad guys and, as I said, bad girls. And what goes through the mens rea, the culpability? What is it in their mind that they think about when they go to commit a crime? And, and we joked all the time about it that the reason that I, I made – the reason that I enjoyed doing what I did in law enforcement is I would have been a great bad guy. I just knew where that line was, and I knew lot to cross it. But the only thing that separated me from being a bad guy was the thought that I didn't want to victimize anybody. So when it came to these kind of kicking in the door burglaries, and you do this like two and a half million burglaries a year go down in our country, and like thirty three percent, right about a third of them, happen at night. When people are home. And here's the thing. The bad guys don't care. The bad guys don't, oh, well, I've got an alarm system. Don't care. Oh, well, I've got a dog. Don't care. They bring treats, right? Oh, I've got this. I've got that. So not too long ago, I was at a convention, and I had the opportunity to meet someone. And you ever know when you, uh, you know, when you, you bump into someone the first time, you kind of go, oh, this guy's dialed in. He's kind of a cool dude. He knows what's going on. And... I not only was drawn to him, but also this sense of his product. His product looked it, it looked really beefy, right? It looked like it would do what it needed to do, right? So I was like, oh, no, there's nothing fake. There's nothing plastic. There's nothing glitzy about this. It, it really looks like it should. So I learned a little bit more about it, and I wanted to tell you some uh, about it tonight because I thought, you know, with everyone looking for Christmas or Hanukkah or, you know, for holiday gifts, you think, oh, what would be something that I could, um, you know what I mean, that I could give to different people that would really make an impact, something that they would, you know, something that they would really use, not like just something that they would really enjoy, and then I thought a lot about the situation that I'm in, you know, pretty soon I'm going to be going through the surgery and it's like no heavy lifting. As you've probably heard me say before, the doctors say, we don't want you lifting anything heavier than a gallon of milk. And I said, thank God, I hate the taste of milk. Why would I ever lift a gallon? But they're like, no, don't get any fights. Don't just don't do anything. Right. Just recover. Right. Just recover. So I wanted to find something so that when I fell asleep at night, I could, it, it would be restful sleep. It would be something that I would be very fired up to have in my own home. So um, we're thinking uh, we might get a call this evening. Um, and we might get the call this evening from the guy that I met named Jason. But the company's name is Nightlock. And I'll put the logo up on the screen uh, so that you can see it. The company's name is Nightlock. No, I don't. I don't get any commission. I don't work for them. Anything else like that. So I, I, it's it's not like that. But what it is, and I know you're thinking, oh, Bri, well, you know, you're just a crack. Uh, you know, you just know your way around a wrench and a what is it? What are they called? A crescent wrench or a screwdrivers or ha- I love hammers. I don't mind hammers at all. Whatever it's called, but it's called Nightlock. And what it is, and now I've gone ahead. I won't tell you how many, right? Because it's like my place, and I don't want people to, you know, know. You know, I don't want them to know all my secrets, right? But a part of what it says on the packaging here is don't stay home without it. If it's true that a third of the burglaries occur at night when everyone's home, remember that old, uh, what was that, American Express card, don't leave home without it? Well, this one is don't stay home without it. So as a gift, it's the thing for me coming out of the surgery, I know that I'll have some peace of mind that I'll be able to, do, to employ to keep people from it, it just to add another line of defense. Let me take this quick call here. Let's see. Good evening. Welcome to All Natural Being. Who's this? This is Jason from Nightlock. Hey, Jason. I was, I'm, I'm doing good, brother. How are you? Good. Hey, I was just I was just bragging about you, uh, and was talking about Nightlock, saying you know I was at this pr- a particular convention, and I bumped into you, and you know you know how sometimes when you meet someone you go oh yeah they're pretty dialed in you know they're pretty buttoned up they know what's going on, mm-hmm. but then what really in addition to meeting you and thinking that about you, what really kind of grabbed me was your product. It just it just looked beefy. It just 
felt beefy. So I wanted to have you on tonight. We were already talking a little bit about burglaries and this and that. But what I thought I would do is show everyone, because Jason, in, in the interest of absolutely full disclosure, I was talking in the beginning about being a cop. So I'm great with all kinds of weapons, but you don't want me to build anything at Home Depot, right? The last <laughs> thing you want me to do is, well, I do have a, well, I have like a wrench. It, it, I think it's called Crescent Wrench, Double Wrench. Lug right. nut. And I have a power drill. I love De- DeWalt tools. I have a power drill. So what was so cool about Nightlock when I got it, and I wanted to show it to everyone. So let me bring the camera back here. I wanted to show it to everyone. It's And you know what I'll do, Jason? While I'm showing it, can you just explain? There's only two pieces. And even for me, yeah. to be able to secure the bottom plate, only three screws. That's all I had to learn to do was work my DeWalt power drill. Love that. Marking the floor. I had the pen behind my ear. You know, all the... All the Tim Toolman Taylor doesn't have anything on me kind of stuff. I mark the three right. holes in the floor near the door, and then the nightlock plate slides right in. So what happens is if someone goes to kick in your door, it's the strength of the floor itself that keeps them from being able to force the door. And as I started to say, with you know two and a half million burglaries that go down every year, a third of which, in terms of the research, they go down while people are at home at night – I just really thought your product was cool, and I thought, what a great Christmas or Hanukkah or holiday gift, because it's a peace of mind. When you go to bed at night, well, this slides right at my doors, and I don't have to worry about someone kicking in the door, you know, forcing their way in. And if nothing else, if they're going to beat on this door, it gives me a chance to at least wake up, you know, wipe the sleep away from my eyes, and get ready to confront whatever well, you know, whatever the aggressor is. So tell us a little bit, if you would, Jason, so it's not just me uh, bragging about you and your product. Tell us a little bit about Nightlock. Okay. So uh, Nightlock, we have what you have is our residential product, um, which is the Nightlock original. comes in three finishes, bright brass, uh, brushed nickel, and a dark bronze. Uh, super simple to install. Works on doors that swing into the home, which is pretty much 99% of doors and homes. Yeah. Uh, has two ways that it can be mounted. Um, I don't know if you want to show the camera sure. again, but uh, one way is it's a 90 degree flush right up to the door, little room so it can slide back and forth and not rub on the door. Mm-hmm. The other way is um, if you have some shoe molding at the bottom, it's angled so you can kind of still get it up close to it, um, with you know, and slide it in and out with uh, free motion. Like you said, it it is easy. Probably takes. The average homeowner, maybe 10 minutes half to install it. <laughs> I would uh, agree. With wood floors, you're just drilling a little pilot hole, yep. screwing the screws right down, and you're good to go. Uh, if you have um, tile or cement, you're just going to drill down with a masonry bit, mm-hmm. and we have some anchors that come with it, so you can screw into that. So very versatile, uh, goes with any finish, and, and it's great. What's cool about um, Nightlock Um, that I like, especially for my home. Um, I have French doors, which are very susceptible to being easily kicked in uh, for my front door. So that that device will work on French doors as well. If you mount that right at the center point of the door, um, it can help secure that as well. And like I said, Jason, with everything I've got going on, it's what's coming up pretty soon. Jamie says here in the thread, that's amazing. Jamie, I absolutely agree. Rita, good evening. Thank you for joining us. One of the things that I like about Jason is that it it really does help me watch my six, right? And we're talking left Mm -hmm. of bang kind of stuff, right? Throwing a little bit of law enforcement lingo. We're talking left of bang kind of stuff because there are things you can do before caca hits the fan, Right. Right. And I love it so that I know that I can get a good night's sleep. I can rest knowing that if anyone's going to try to force a door, they're not going to bring a crowbar. They're not going to jimmy the lock. They're not going to do any of these other things that I might sleep right through. You try to kick in the door with a night lock on it, you're going to yeah. make some ruckus. Have, right? Just make a lot of noise. It's very difficult it. for them to do it. Yeah. And then what is it? Al Pacino in that movie? Say hello to my little friend. Right? <laughs> so for some, yeah, it gives I, people time. It's, it's, yes. That's, that they want to do, they can defend themselves sure. for sure. Or time to call 911, right? It's just not yeah. everyone's built like you and me, and they go, oh, well, no, but, you know, I'm going to be like, hmm. We, well, because what do we got? No, like 12 to 14 minutes, maybe the average response time if you call 911. Sure. Well, I don't want to be sitting around having to defend my, worried about how I'm going to defend my family until a patrol arrives. So the cool thing about Nightlock, Jamie, I absolutely agree. 
Uh, and Jamie says, look out for limping criminals. Yeah, I would have yeah. to imagine, Jason, <laughs> they probably don't call you and go, hey, I'm a criminal. I want a gig. I got a broken ankle. If you don't give me a gig, I'm going to sue right. you. I would imagine some of the people that go, oh, watch this. I'm a badass. I'm going to force this deadbolt open. And they go to kick it and it's night lock. And it's like, sorry, Sally, not going to happen today. <laughs> I think this is really powerful stuff. And as I was saying before you called, the moment I saw it, it was like, it's not plastic. It's not overly glitzy. I was able to get the colors to match the uh, nomenclature, you know, the the handles on the Mm -hmm. doors, the locks, that kind of thing. So it doesn't look, you know, uh, too much. Um, And now it's just like, no, you fall asleep. And you know me, Jason, or you don't know me that well, but pretty soon I'll be like, what do they got for windows? You, I think I will need, especially as I start to battle back from uh, the tumor, I need one for the refrigerator. If Nightlock <laughs> makes something for the fridge to keep me from getting pie like at 2 in the morning. Well, my, you know, sometimes my yeah, stomach we'll just make growls. A special <laughs> for the refrigerator. <laughs> I was going to say it has to be foolproof, but who are we kidding? Right? So right. that was one of the other things I was thinking about. So now um, – I really encourage people, and as I said, I don't, I, right, I'm not a salesman, although if I were a salesman, could you find a better gig, Jason, than you have selling people the ability to be secure in their own homes? Like your packaging says, no. don't stay home without it. I just think yeah. it. Jen says yes with an exclamation point. Rita gives it a smiley face as well. So I just think it's a great thing to think about, a great stocking stuffer, as I said, for whether you're going to do Hanukkah gifts or Christmas gifts or holiday gifts, however you're going to do it. Why not start out the new year knowing that you're giving the gift of security to family and friends? I just I, – I'm just – I'm just thrilled with it, I have to tell you. So I wish you uh, all the luck. Good evening, Kathy. Thank you so very much. Ooh, Jamie says another Shark Tank winner. All right, so Jason, (laughs) so what are some other things that we can talk about before? Um, Kathy, I'm sorry you missed the show as well, but we, as you know, we do the podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, now on Spotify. So if you get a chance, and I know, I'd love one here in Coenca. Well, you know what, Henry? I've got one coming to you. Henry Henry says, I'd love one here in Cuenca, so we'll make that happen. Jason, let me give you the last minute or so. What are some of the other things uh, that folks could uh, – and what's the website? So, yeah. Um, let me put the logo back up. Website's nightlock.com. Okay. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, I mentioned the price. Is that okay? Sure, go right ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so these are thirty nine ninety five, so less than $40 uh, each. Um, like I said, comes in three different finishes. Um, we do have a uh, patio, sliding patio door version okay. that comes in four colors, basically the same three, bright brass, brush okay. nickel, and dark bronze, as well as white. Um, and then we get into the realm of um, some lockdown stuff, but that's this is more of the home-based stuff. For the home-based stuff, um, sure. Well, to be yeah, honest, that's and, how uh, I first met you and learned about your product yeah. was for lockdowns <laughs> at schools, which I was yeah. just impressed with, right? Because well, I'm not slamming everybody else, but you look at some of the other stuff, you go, yeah, I don't get it. You hold up the, your product and you look at it and you go, well, that's some beef, right? I, you right. get the right to say, don't stay home without it. Um, that makes perfect sense. So people are going to go to night. Oh, I'm sorry. One more time. I wasn't listening, brother. I was reading the packaging. Uh, night- nightlock.com. Nightlock.com. I've got the logo yep. up on the screen right now. And then uh, I imagine there's a place for them to contact you or, or, or if there's any other questions or the yeah. like. Um, good evening, yeah, Brian Bouchard. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah. Anything they fill out on the website, I'll, I'll see. They can reach out. They have questions. Uh, contact page. My email's on the About Us page. Very cool. Um, And they can purchase directly from there if they're interested. All right. Very cool. Well, Jason, thanks so much. We'll have to have you back on sometime. Maybe you could talk about some other tips, right? Because I know everyone's, oh, I got a video doorbell. I got this. I got that. And and I see videos of, 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 of the bad guys making fun of the video doorbells. You know, and they advertise it now. Oh, call in from anywhere. Well, the bad guy knows you're not at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've seen them fixing their mustache. You know, they're just like taunting them. And because because bad guys aren't worried about the things that normal folks are worried about, right? All right, Jason, we got to get ready to go. Everyone, please check out nightlock.com. Be like I'm going to be if you want. I don't know why you'd like to be like me. But in this particular instance, it's a good idea. I'm going to use them as Christmas gifts, Hanukkah gifts, holiday gifts, so that uh, I know that my family and friends are, are secure and that they can get a good night's sleep. Jason, thank you so very much for joining us, and uh, we thank wish you, you a very – if we don't talk to you, wish you a very happy new year. Congrats on the Nightlock product. I really dig it. 
Same to you. All right, brother. Take care. All right, so that is going to be our show for this evening so that I can get out the door in time for Wayne. Tamara, thank you so much for joining us. Nice to see you. Henry can have one here along with the Ethernet cable. Okay, very cool. We make, we'll make that work. Brian, I hope you're well. Hope you're feeling good, brother. Thank you so very much for joining us. We're going to get out of here so that Henry can work his magic. Thank you so very much for joining us. And All Natural Being will be back tomorrow night. We will see you then. Have a good night, everybody. IPMNation.com